It's spring again and folks everywhere are considering replacing their old, worn out gas lawnmowers for a new and shiny electric mower. Although battery powered electric motors can generally be more expensive, they require practically no maintenance other than sharpening the blade. So no more runs to the gas station for fuel, getting air filters, spark plugs or doing oil changes. Also it's a push start system, so it gets rid of that annoying cable pull start. All sounds good, right? But which electric mower should you choose? That and more on this episode of the Top 5 Electric Lawn Mowers in 2024. At Techie Tech News, we evaluate products for you, so you don't have to. This is Techie Tech News. Engage. Links to these products are listed in the description below. And please hit subscribe for more review videos. You know, an electric mower is not really all that different from its gas-powered counterpart. They really are simple machines with complete turnkey systems bolted on top of a pan frame with wheels. You have a blade or two attached to the motor end with an elongated handle system with controls at the end. Still, manufacturers do not create all mowers equally, just like the needs of our viewers. In this review, we break down which mowers we recommend and why. When we test yard equipment, specifically electric mowers, we follow the following criteria. Deck width, mulching, side discharge, bag collection, self-propelled or pushed, controls, handle length, deck height, discharge rate or the cut area per charge, power output, and the overall quality. These are details that we considered when overviewing all electric mowers, which by the way was extensive with up to 15 units. We finalized on five distinctive electric mowers that we want to present to you. We feel this list has hit the widest user base with details that you need to make an informed decision. Let's begin. And starting with mower number five, Craftsman CM CMW 220. Craftsman's secret to its humongous cut area is pretty simple. It put two gigantic 9 amp hour batteries on a light mower with a light blade and they also removed the self-propelling motor system. The result is that every bit of its battery capacity goes into the cut area and runtime, all 90 minutes of it. This push mower is only 36.6 pounds with battery and bag and it's light duty in a pleasant way. Remove the batteries in the bag and it only weighs slightly more than 30 pounds. It's small enough and light enough that you could put it on a shelf when you're done for storage during off season. The Craftsman is a middle of the road machine in terms of its bagging capability. It mulches better than it bags and the quality of its cut surface is actually quite good. Although we did notice some clumping when the grass was tall and moist. But when the grass dried out later that day, the Craftsman's mulching performance was as good as any other mower. On the other hand, we were surprised at its spunkiness with the deck set up high and to its side discharge chute in place. And no, this is not a gas engine mower. You won't use it to knock down weeds in an overgrown yard. On the other hand, compared to a gas mower, it's almost vacuum cleaner quiet and it's a pleasant experience to use it. With its all plastic deck, it's easy to clean. Finally, as it comes to a kit, you get a mower, bag, discharge chute, charger, and a pair of batteries that fit any other Craftsman 12-volt tool. Folks, we think it's a winner if you need a small and economical mower. Mower number 4, Toro's 21623 Stripe Dual Blade Electric Mower. Every mower, to one extent or another, delivers lawn striping as it cuts. But if you want to emphasize on the stripe, Toro built this mower for you. The Toro left stripes that were conspicuous compared to the test zones for the other mowers. It accomplishes this with its 3 quarter inch diameter rolled steel at the rear of the mower and its X-shaped mulching blades. The two work in tandem to deliver a razor smooth cut and a velvet-like strip. It also features a two lever height adjustment and a massive 7.5 amp hour battery complete with a handle. We just wish other big batteries had that kind of function. It also had that same fold forward handle and stand on end design that Toro pioneered. Every single Toro mower that we've ever tested has always been a superb grass cutter. And this one continues that long tradition. However, its cut per charge area with its hefty battery price tag held this mower back from being first to third place. It's still an amazing mower, but just get it if you value a striped lawn or have other Toro products that can use its battery. 
Mower number three, Ryobi RY401150 US electric mower. This is Ryobi's top of the line mower, and its American construction is something we wish we saw more of. It delivers a tremendous cut area with its two 6 amp hour batteries, providing you with a total of 12 amp hours of capacity. Its X shaped blades leaves a pristine surface in its wake. Ryobi estimates the design should provide 70 minutes of runtime, which we practically almost managed. Its rear wheel drive and reasonably aggressive tire tread pattern provides good uphill climbing and side hill cutting performance. Its bagging on all surfaces like level, side hill, and uphill travel is also commendable. Other ease of use features includes an easily installed and removed bag that mounts and dismounts straight up and down through a handle. The deck height adjustment is quick and easy thanks to a single lever adjusting handle as well. The straight deck edge is polypropylene. It will never rust and needs very little care other than basic cleaning. Still, it's a rather heavy unit at 75 pounds and doesn't match the Ego's features in maneuverability. Mower number two, Eco DLM 2100 SP. The Eco DLM is a rugged self-propelled workhorse built to cut grass. Echo, headquartered in the Midwest, is well known for building such equipment. It's been doing this for decades and we've got decades of experience testing this brand. This 56 volt mower delivers an exceptional cut with some of the best bagging we've tested in a single operation. We've mulched, side discharged and bagged with the Echo and it passes each test handedly. It comes with a 5 amp hour battery and a bay for a second battery if you wish to extend its runtime. It's also a great incentive to buy one of Echo's other superb battery powered machines. Controls were rated at average and the handle leverage was good. Simply put, the Echo is a great mower, however it doesn't match the Ego's quality, performance and ease of use. The unit is about 20 pounds heavier due to its steel frame. If you are looking for a tough mower but you're on a budget, the Echo is the right choice at just under 500 bucks with battery and charger. And mower number one, Ego's LM2150 SP Electric Mower. Here is our general number one pick for the everyday suburban family. First is its outstanding cut quality. Healthy grass looks like velvet after it's been mowed with this Ego. Even when the mower is used in mulching mode, we did not find any clumps or accumulated clippings after the mower was finished. We attribute that cut quality to the X-shaped blades, a design developed decades ago on Honda gas engine mowers, and the smooth and unobstructed deck surface surrounding the blades. This mower is an excellent bagger, gathering pounds more of grass per square foot of test area than most mowers. And like many battery mowers today, the Ego is equipped with an all-plastic deck that will never rust and a tilt forward handle that also telescopically adjusts to suit the user's height. To make it even easier to use, it has a single lever deck height adjustment with a large T-handled shape. This mower also has one of the best speed control mechanisms we've ever seen. It's a simple dial that you simply rotate forward or back. Since you can buy this model with or without battery and charger, it's up to you on how large of a battery you want to get for it. Ego recommends a battery with a minimum of 2.5 amp hours of capacity. You can easily do better with a larger battery such as the company's 10 amp hour battery. It's a whopping power pack. The runtime is estimated to be somewhere of 75 minutes with the 10 amp hour battery. That's a lot of mowing time. The controls were simple and intuitive to use. Speed range was useful and in line with our walking speeds. Overall, it just does everything right. In general, and compared to the other mowers, its overall price with performance and features elevate this to the top of our list. Now, obviously opinions can vary, but we feel confident not only in our criterias, but also in our results. So after watching all of this, what mower would you choose? Let us know in the comments, and thank you for watching. Again, links to all of these items and our social media are posted in the video description box below. And when you're ready, check out the next video.